In the following video, I will explain the procedure of a stress ECG with Casto Cardio 300 on an ergometer and a treadmill. Please take note of the manufacturer's instructions for safe use of the treadmill or ergometer. First, create the patient data in Casto Diagnostic or use the already existing data. Then prepare the patient for the measurement. Make sure that the skin is free of hair or other residues. In the next step, place the electrodes according to Wilson. The electrodes C1 to C6 are placed on the chest wall as follows. C1 in the fourth intercostal space at the right sternal border. C2 in the fourth intercostal space at the left sternal border. C4 in the 5th intercostal space on the left mid-clavicular line. C3 left on the 5th rib between C2 and C4. C6 left on the mid-axillary line at the level of C4. And C5 left on the anterior axillary line also at the level of C4. The electrodes for the limbs are positioned on the anterior or posterior thorax with shortened cables. We recommend placing them on the back because there is less movement than at the front of the thorax. The electrodes L and R are placed on the posterior deltoid muscle left and right. Electrode N on the ninth rib right and electrode F on the ninth rib left. Protect the Custo Cardio 300 with a Custo Clean disposable bag and attach it to the patient. Make sure that it is firmly supported, not the ribbons tightly on the patient. Then put the clips on the electrodes. Ensure that there are loops which provide enough flexibility when the patient moves. Fix the cables with a suitable fastening tape additionally. When using a treadmill, each cable loom must be fixed individually. It is important that there is no strain on the cables and the patient's mobility is not restricted as far as possible. Now position the patient on the treadmill or the ergometer. Adjust the ergometer according to the patient's height. The hollows of the knees should always be slightly bended. Make sure that the patient feels comfortable. Then select a protocol for the measurement. You can modify the settings for resting, warming up, stress and recovery phase individually. Before starting, check the ECG via the software and correct the electrode position if necessary. Customed recommends using the mains and muscle filter to prevent disturbances in the ECG signal. If it is a stress test with high load, you can additionally activate the ergo filter to ensure a more stable ECG signal. Start the examination and guide the patient through the individual phases. Always take care of the patient's condition and values. Interrupt the process with upcoming overload of the cardiovascular system as well as other indications of overstraining. Conduct the interrogation according to the Borg scale during the measurement. As soon as the measurement is successfully terminated, first remove the clips from the patient and then remove the Cardio 300 and the electrodes. Dispose of the electrodes as well as the disposable bag and disinfect the clips and the Cardio 300. Castomed. Excellence in Diagnostics.